Hey, what is up guys? I'm KBHD here, and welcome to episode number one of Dope Tech. So this is a completely brand new series designed specifically to showcase the best and coolest tech that crosses my path. So whether I get to use it just once or twice, or if it's something I use on a daily basis. Basically, the only qualification is that I think it's dope. So anything with an on button is game. So kicking off episode number one, we have actually two things, the new Chromecasts for 2015. So there's actually two of them, so like brothers, the Chromecast and Chromecast Audio. The first Chromecast is actually one of the best selling electronics of all of last year. So unsurprisingly, this new one is also really good. It's very similar. It has a couple of improvements, but mostly still going to have the same function of turning your not so smart TV into a useful one. So it's an HDMI dongle again, and this time even more of a dongle and now with an HDMI cable built in. So it has a sort of a magnet to store it. I think the new design looks decent, but I cannot unsee that Beats logo. Anyway, you find the HDMI port on the back of your TV, plug it in and then add USB power and then set it up with the new Chromecast app on your smartphone and you're good to go. New features for this version include five gigahertz Wi-Fi support, 802.11 AC Wi-Fi support, and multiple internal antennas that can switch between while it sits behind your TV to get the best signal. Yes, it does come in multiple colors, but you'll probably never see that while it sits behind your TV. But yeah, past that, it's an updated version of the same Chromecast we're familiar with, which is dope. You can mirror your phone's display to your TV or play Chromecast-enabled games or really fire up any Chromecast-enabled app and cast to your TV pretty quickly. So yeah, it can be a pretty seriously super useful tool, like I said, turning a regular TV or even a good TV into a great one. The one thing it still doesn't support is 4K, so everything you're doing, including gaming, is still going to be 1080p, but I guess they would want to push you to Android TV for that. But you know what's even better and smarter than casting music to your TV? Casting music to speakers, a dedicated set of speakers. So that's exactly what Chromecast Audio is for. It's Chromecast for speakers. The dongle itself looks almost exactly the same, although I think it looks pretty neat with the ridges on it at least, and it plugs into any pair of speakers you might have with the included three and a half millimeter mini cable or you can go optical or RCA. And then any devices can connect to it and stream music to that set of speakers. So it's even better than Bluetooth because more than one person can hop on and connect to the stream on the fly. So it essentially turns a normal pair of speakers or studio monitors or TV bookshelf speakers, whatever you have, into a connected pair of speakers that anyone can connect to. Overall, I'm a fan of Chromecast again. They're both 35 bucks and get my thumbs up. All right, so I've been asked a lot about the equipment that I use to make these videos. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with one of them that guy, the camera. This is Red Weapon Dragon number 41. Yeah, told you anything is game for dope tech. This camera is ridiculous in a lot of ways. Actually, when describing it, I think it's easier to think of it more as a small computer with a sensor attached than a camera. It's a really powerful little machine. You may have heard of Red. The camera I was using before was called the Red Epic Dragon. Epic being the name of the body and Dragon being the name of the sensor, the 6K Dragon sensor. Technically, this new camera is called the Red Weapon Dragon. So new body, same Dragon sensor. The full frame 8K sensor that you guys have been hearing about is coming out as another upgrade later this year. So does that mean I'll be shooting in 8K later this year? Probably. Now, unlike a lot of the other stuff on Dope Tech, this camera is definitely not one that I would just go around recommending. For one, I am fully aware that it is definitely overkill for YouTube or for web video in general. The files look way better on my computer than they do here after YouTube's compression. But that's okay because I still enjoy shooting red and I learn from the raw workflow every day and maybe, just maybe, you can tell through the final result. Anyway, this is the forged carbon fiber body which goes through a different process than the normal carbon fiber to make it stronger and lighter. SSD reader on the side, customizable buttons on the front and sides as well, and a pair of actually decent stereo mics for scratch audio on the front. And fun fact about this camera, since the camera is called the Weapon, RED actually offers a stealth option of the Weapon badge on the front for people that travel with their cameras a lot and don't want to go through airport security with something with the word Weapon on it. Not so fun fact though, I still get stopped pretty much every time anyway, mostly because we also have to have huge batteries in our bag. Anyway, the big differentiating factor with this RED camera is how modular they are. This is the actual body of the camera and you can choose exactly what accessories you want to use to shoot. So I have, of course, a battery mount on the back, plus the actual battery, plus the monitor, and soon a top handle. But most times you see a RED camera, it's rigged much more heavily than mine since multiple people are operating it. But as a one-man crew, I keep things pretty nimble and I absolutely love shooting with this thing. If you want sample footage, see my last few videos. And the benefits of shooting RAW are real. 
That's pretty dope. All right, so the last thing is actually the secret that you need to join Team No Sleep to be able to get infinite work done and never have to recharge. And that is to just always be plugged in. Uh, shameless plug, no, this is actually the MKBHD version two t-shirt. Uh, it'll be live to buy for the next two weeks at the link right below that like button. So if you wanna pick one up, you can, it is available, and then it'll be gone forever. Thank you for watching episode number one of Dope Tech. Looking to have some fun with this series. And you should know, this is inspired entirely by the coolest tech on the planet series by TLD. TLD channel is pretty awesome too. The card should be right around there. You should follow him, subscribe to him. Super crispy videos over there to inspire this one. And yeah, if you guys have suggestions for future episodes of Dope Tech, that's what the comment section is for. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.